I'm, she's minding hers. Oh my god, Tor! Oh, oh, he left the game. No, let go of me. I can do it myself. I like girls' drinks at the bars? Yes. Really? Yes. How many are we talking in a, in a weekend? Like a weekend? Well, I'll, buy, I'll buy 100 shots if I have to. Did this man really say 100 shots? For what? Just to pull a girl and bring her back home? I'm sorry, this man is just a simp and he's getting played by all of these women. All right, my truck's been making this really weird noise. Like, I can't hear it when I'm out here. I can only hear it when I'm in the truck and I'm driving. Are you seriously on TikTok right now? I'm unbelievable. I mean, see, now I can't hear it. I think I like you more than a friend. Yeah. No. <laughs> Fucking right. Holy fuck. Ew. Oh my I know. god. What the fuck? I literally. That was so fucking funny. <laughs> Sorry. Right. I knew you'd react like that. That's why I said it. Jesus Christ. I thought you were more like a brother to me. Like, imagine we kiss. Oh. Oh my god. No. Ew. <laughs> Sorry. I Never to... say that I know. again. That's I know. so gross. Yeah. Fuck. Anyways, scared me with that one. <laughs> Abort mission. This guy honestly just needs to let go of her. If she just friend zoned him like that, the only other option is he needs to leave because him staying in that relationship is not going to slowly change her mind. It's actually going to make her just put him in the friend zone even more. Talking stage with you two. How do you feel about her seeing other guys? I wouldn't be opposed to that. I wouldn't be opposed to... <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to her seeing other guys because if you find what you like, you gotta, you know, you gotta get that. If I'm lacking in a certain area, I would want you to have that, so. I am speechless. This man does not have any jealousy in his body and he's obviously a simp because he doesn't want to turn off his girl by seeming insecure in front of her. No man in their right mind would ever give this kind of answer because no man is comfortable with their girl talking to other men. Otherwise, in my opinion, you're not a man. Anyone? No, no, I'm just talking to people. Oh, how many? I can't count. Okay, well, you got a favorite? Two favorites, yeah. Oh, so what's that from apart? Well, they're both friends, but one, no. Uh... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I can't get too personal. Um, yeah, you might want to protect yourself a little yes. bit. Yes. Don't start no shit. To be honest, she is one of the few people I see on TikTok that actually watches what she says. Because usually when a girl see a camera and a guy with the mic, they just start spilling their entire lives on camera. So I'm not gonna lie, even though what she's doing is bad, at least she stopped herself from saying everything. I'm so excited to finally meet him. Hey. Melissa? Yeah, Kendra? We have 360. Okay. Whoa, what the? Oh my god. Women gotta stop catfishing. I have no idea what else to say. You can't blame the guy. Sir, uh, I just need a little uh, to fill this up. Can you help me out with this? No? Sir, do you mind helping me with this? Yeah, sure. Sir, I'm Alex with ABC. What would you do? You just won a free Tesla. Go get the car. Yeah, go get the car. Aye, aye. Go get the car. Yes, and you all should pay trip to Hawaii. Oahu, Hawaii. Oh, yeah. I am praying that this is some kind of prank that they're just pulling in public. But if this is honestly real, they're going to have a huge argument when they go back home. What's your name, baby? Are you single? Yeah. Oh, when you broke up? A couple days ago. Oh, shit. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not your boyfriend. <laughs> G hasn't had a job. When I ask him what he's going to do for a career, he just looks at me and says, baby, I'm Batman. Just because I don't get paid doesn't make it not a job. I would get a real nine to five job if they let me be Goose Wayne. Maybe like a sign spinner, or like a mascot. Batman is not a real job. Batman is a fictional character. Now listen, I'm all for guys, you know, pursuing their passion and what they love and, and their women backing them up on their passions. But this, this is just weird. I really do hope this is just a fake prank to get on Dr. Phil. Otherwise, I'm not going to lie. This woman needs to leave him. want your house clean hire me a maid what 
I agree with Sister Amira. I agree. I'll hire the maid and I'll marry the maid. Boom. Oh. I'll marry the maid. <laughs> okay. So you know, you know, no, because I, I'll hire her and marry her. Now, did he take things too far? Absolutely not. I mean, if he's bringing home the bread, if he's providing and protecting for her, she has to do her duty as a wife as well, which is her part, which would be an additional house cooking and cleaning. Trophy wives don't exist where they don't do nothing at all. I'm sorry. Everybody has to pull their own kind of work. How would you feel if one of us had an ex-partner tattooed on us, like their name? I'm sure like the partners kind of feel a little weird about someone else's name being on their skin, no? I don't feel insecure. Like give me an example, what was that guy's name? Ben. Ben, like if, if you had Ben tattooed on you somewhere? Yes. I'll just add a D and an over to it. And then, and then it would be like a whole new tattoo. It would be like fun. <laughs> You're clever. He's clever. Ooh. That was decently smooth, but let's just all be honest here. If a girl actually has a tattoo of another man's name, she's probably a red flag. Don't get any tattoos of anybody's names ever. Ew, that was just weird. What are you doing kissing a guy like that? Imagine if the roles were switched. Come on now. You know, just what our movement's all about. But it's more than just Gen Z's falling for conspiracy theories. Why? <coughs> yeah, oh, right. I'm so nervous. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we hope you're okay. Why don't we give you some time to collect yourself? If you need help, let us know in the control room there. And, uh... There is nothing wrong with having an OnlyFans account. There is nothing wrong with taking for free. There is nothing wrong with being any way you want to be, whether it is as an occupation or if it is to just send a around like I do all the time. She is definitely coping with her horrible past because she just stated things that she has done herself and she's trying to, I guess, come up with excuses and trying to make it seem like what she's doing is okay when in reality, she knows it's not. Um, you, it don't matter who, who, who I am. Where's Mike at? He in here, but you ain't gotta do all Tell his ass come outside. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm not trying to talk to you. I am i don't give a fuck whose house it is. Like I said, bring your ass out here. Come on, let's go. You done with him. Bitch, you ain't never have him to be done with him. Fuck is you talking about? Um, GPS. What, I, I thought you was at work. You at this bitch house? Is you serious? Let's go, you ain't coming with me. You better leave. You better stay here with this bitch. You can't look at Come on, y'all doing something. Oh, cause a scene. Cause a scene. Fuck you. You must man. care the way your ass came outside. Man, because come on. Man. Come on, man. Let's just go, man. Let's I will never understand women like this, where they actually catch their man cheating on them, yet they're still fighting for them, even though their man is making it pretty clear that they're not in love with them anymore. At this point, you're giving your man every excuse to keep cheating on you because clearly you're not leaving or doing anything about it. I know. I just need someone to cyanide me. I was hoping you guys could sing something to me. <laughs> Number four, please. You keep mine a little short and sweet. So. Okay. I don't know your name, but excuse me, miss. I want to have sex with you. Oh, I you got me. <laughs> when boys are like, I'd never date a girl with an OnlyFans. I'd never do that. Would a girl with an OnlyFans date you, though? Would she? She got us. I mean, wow. That was a very valid point. Like, we want them to choose us anyways. Trust me, we don't. Yeah, yeah, she is. Wait, like, what if my, like... Then literally no one would flinch. They'd be like, tell that little boy to put his shirt back on. What did he say? You're a chubby man. Yeah, lol a little. Hit the gym. Men should be in shape. So I'll see you there? Are you calling me fat? You shouldn't comment on a woman's weight. I'm not fat. I'm Kirby. I'm going to report you. You're going down. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Double standards are crazy nowadays. Once again, this just exploits it. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of women thinking that they can bash men for their height, but in reality, the moment you bring up a woman's weight, it's like hell on earth. I really do hope those nails are just, you know, for show and trying to make a quick TikTok. Because if those are real, I don't know how she wipes her ass. Are you heading to the store? Yeah. Why don't you pick up some of those pills that'll help you get it up? Oh, okay. Yeah. Back from the store? Yep, there you go. But these are diet pills. Exactly. She's lovely, ain't she? She's a good mom and I love her so much. 
Now guys, I had to add a sweet clip in there. That was just adorable. Some cute mother and son bonding time. I have to say that in media, women get paid the same. Why don't Bollywood actresses get paid the same as Bollywood actors? You know, in Bollywood... Karina, do you agree with me? Absolutely. Rani? There is a really I'm all there with you, Sonia, right now. Now we're ganging up on you, Amit. No, please do. The entire society has to change the way they think. No, please do. I have a very good answer for that, actually. Your fee is connected to your... Ability to fill the theater. Yes, heroines work very hard, but so do cameramen. So do uh, the light boys on the set. All of us should be paid equally. Now, Everyone works hard. Are you comparing the heroine with the light boy? No, no. <laughs> I'm comparing the heroine and the light boy and myself in okay. the same. So okay. I'm not saying heroine and light boy. I'm saying all of us are working hard. If I am paid 10 rupees, it's because I can bring back that money and more. If Rani can fill in more seats than I can, 101% she'll be paid more than me. So it's got nothing to do with your sex as a female or a male. It is your ability to pull people in. Now this man is really trying to break down this concept like he's talking to kids. It's not that difficult to understand. If you can't bring in more money, you're not going to get paid more money because you're a woman. That's not how businesses or economies function. I'm sorry. It's definitely her fault. She got back to the car and her and my mom and it was like, yeah, like it was his fault the whole time. I watched the thing. I'm like, you hit it out of his hand though. Like, like now you like, you had me hot at this dude and I, and now I see the video. It's like, you feel me? So. Supposed to be friends, bro. Nah, you're my friend. You like what, bro? Tell me my pussy steak. Now come smell this pussy for your damn self. <laughs> Yo, I'm, sorry, you, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo, that's easily, easily the biggest fear for men. I'm being so serious. My friends have horror stories of this. Babe. Babe. Oh my god. No, I don't uh, want her. Babe, look what you've done. Yeah. Bro, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. Bro. Listen, loyalty tests are necessary regardless if you guys disagree with these clips or not. Obviously, we've seen so many loyalty tests where they go completely wrong. But if you guys are ever thinking of popping the big question to a girl you guys are interested in, I would say try a loyalty test out. It'll definitely give you an answer if she's really in love with you or not. But that does it for you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.